Godo mainly supports two languages, GDScript and C Sharp. GDScript works right out of the box, no setup needed. But if you want to use C Sharp, there's a bit of setup involved. So let's see how we can use C Sharp with Godo. The first step is to download the right version of Godo. There are two options, the standard version and the .NET version. Standard version only supports GDScript as the programming language, while the .NET version supports both GDScript and C Sharp. So for C Sharp, we need to download the .NET version of the Godo. After this, we need to download .NET SDK. It's very simple. In additional requirements for the .NET version, you will see the link for the .NET SDK. So just click on it and you will be redirected to this page. From here, we can download .NET for Windows, but there are two versions, .NET 9.0 and 8.0. Which one to download for Godo? Well, starting with Godo 4.4, our project need to target .NET 8 or newer. So we can use both 8.0 or 9.0, but I'll go with 8.0. If you want, you can also try out 9.0. After it's downloaded, just install it like any other normal setup. And after this, we are ready to use c -sharp with Godo. So let's create a new scene and name it something like main. And then let's attach a script to this scene. And instead of GD script here, we will select c -sharp. Yeah, since we are using .NET version of Godo, we can now also select c -sharp as a scripting language. This is a simple c -sharp code that prints hello from c -sharp to Godo. Now to run it, we can simply run our project as usual and then we see our message printed in the output console. So this is how we can use C Sharp with Godo. But what about external editors? How can we use editors like VS Code to write our C Sharp code? Well, it's pretty simple. Just go to editor and then editor settings. From here, scroll down and find .NET section and here you will see an editor section. From here, you can select the editor that you want to use as an external editor. There are a few options here like Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, JetBrains and all that. But if the option isn't listed here, you can also select custom and then set a path for it. But since I'll be using VS Code, I'll select Visual Studio Code. And then this is important. Make sure to close your script in Godo before opening it in VS Code. And now. If I will double click on my script, it will be automatically opened in VS Code. And after writing our code in VS Code, we can simply switch over to Godo and then run our project. And now we see hello from C Sharp that is being written in VS Code. This is what I changed there. So this is how we can use VS Code for writing our C Sharp code. And it also has some advantages like code suggestions and auto completion for C Sharp code, which we normally don't get in the Godo editor. Plus, there are extensions like C Sharp tools for Godot that can make your life easier. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.